and I made a post about a lady that was giving a talk, a lecture, somewhat of a TED Talks type thing to a group that they, she was um, lecturing on the position of society. And this is my term, Michael's term, showing more grace or love or more accommodation to this group, this group of people with this proclivity. Yeah. Um, and so I'm curious about you all's comments and questions or if anybody agrees with them. Just like pedophiles, we are not responsible for our feelings. We do not choose them. But we are responsible for our actions. And we must make a decision. It is in our responsibility to reflect and to overcome our negative feelings about pedophiles and to treat them with the same respect we treat other people with. We should accept that pedophiles are people who have not chosen their sexuality and who, unlike most of us, will never be able to live it out freely if they want to lead an upright life. We should accept that pedophilia is a sexual preference. Statistics indicate that there will be one or two of you who are struggling with some form of pedophilic interest. These people can't talk about their feelings because they know that they will be hated for it. I truly do believe that every person is longing for love at some point in their life. And what if this love that you really wish for will forever be impossible? That must be a really lonely situation to be in. Yes, from an emotional point of view, I can kind of understand that you would, you would want to eliminate these people from society. However, it doesn't make sense. And that's because we're talking about biology. We're talking about a sexual orientation, something that we simply cannot change. And on top of that, every day, new people are born with the same difficulty. So it's not practical to eliminate these people from society. They haven't done anything wrong. We're already not protecting these children enough by protecting them from all this stuff that we're throwing at them. Right. What will happen if this becomes a thing? 